on the Pleasant Craft server, we are committed to making fantastic mega bases that take us the entire season to build. And for this season, I am partnering with Flippin' Pizza to make our base, Music Park. A theme park base which will be filled with a lot of note block music. For these mega bases, we need farms that give us the materials we need to build them. Honeycomb is a material we will need a lot of. So I built this honeycomb farm, which will get us all the honeycomb we need to build our mega musical sheep farm. So this is the bee farm and it's already producing quite a bit and we're actually able now to get to work on some more of the builds. But we seem to have a problem with the villager breeder. So it seems like the villagers that I had, I think they died. So it's time to get one of these guys and make him a farmer. After getting the new farmers into the breeder, I decided it'd be best to keep these guys from getting killed again. So I worked on getting a completed interior for what I call the villager factory. Now that we got this done, that means these villagers are fully protected other than this. Let's just, yeah, let's just do that. That'll keep them safe. Now I like to return my attention to the sheep farm and me and pizza were thinking about how each build can be unique from each other. Cause as you can see, these are all one build palette and the best way to differentiate them would probably be on the roof. And for this, I was thinking, make it look like a pipe organ. I just gotta get together some sort of design and we'll get right to work on that. All right, all right. This is the pipe organ. I think it turned out pretty good. It took a lot to figure out how to get these right. Doing a circular shape combined with a curve upwards is pretty difficult, but I think I did a decent job at that. And while we do got a somewhat of a musical aspect to this, I think we need a little bit more music involved. And that's where the interior comes in. You see, we got a few skulk sensors from Milkman's shop. We could get ourselves some skulk Skulk sensors, so that's one diamond per 32. Let's, uh, let's grab two stacks. I think that's a good starting point. Let's just snag one of those. Woohoohoo! I love this. Oh, this is still the greatest thing ever. And we took a ride on the Warden Elytra Tower. Okay, there we go. We did it. Okay, now let's, uh... Oh, wow, okay. There we go. We are, we are flying through the air. Oh man, whoa, we can make it to our base. That's so awesome. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> but yes, with this, we can begin using the skulk sensors to make ourselves some wireless music. With that, I started the interior of our sheep farm build, which I kept relatively simple as this interior serves mostly a functional purpose rather than an aesthetic purpose. But after the interior was done, it was time to add some music. And I'm thinking since it's a sheep farm, we, we do a recognizable theme, which is, which in and of itself, that should be pretty easy, right? Wrong. We can't ever do things easy here. As you may know, the block under it changes the instrument that it plays. So for dirt and grass and all that stuff, it's a piano. For glass, it's like a s snare drum, I guess. For wood, it's a bass. And for stone, it's a bass drum. So yeah, we're gonna use different instruments and have like a whole set. So let's try to figure something out. So now if we walk in, <laughs> I love it. I love the skulk sensor and I love when you waterlog it, it actually silences it. So you just get the redstone output rather than the skulk sound. So you can just, <laughs> I love it. So yes, this is pretty much this build complete. You know, that, that was the finishing touch right there. So we walk in, we get the, We occasionally get the noise and we have a room up here which has all the sheep oh i walked over it again <laughs> 
then you can go back down and we have all the outputs down here that's pretty much it for this now we gotta head to the shopping district because there's a few people who want to get some of the honeycomb that i have and i'm thinking should sell some of it could be a good source of diamonds especially since people want to get wax copper and all that stuff let's head over to the shopping district first day of work at the pickle factory can be quite a jarring experience this is a nice crate you got there what the <laughs> okay you are so loud compared to everything else right now <laughs> that was so loud like like I make, I thought somebody was in my room because I, I heard it and I was like, I clenched and I went, what? No. <laughs> so over here at spawn slash shopping district, here is our plot for our honeycomb shop, which I have a design for and I have it already. It's going to be amazing. I'm really proud of it. So let's just dip into our supplies here and let's get started all right and finishing touches there we go this is our bee shop and wow i am very happy with how this turned out i i tried to go for a bit more shape with this build i'm trying to nail down like detailing because that's something that i usually struggle with you know there's a lot of ways to detail and sometimes i just I just don't go for it as much and I think I did a lot better job with this build than I have ever so yeah we got like a little bee farm here I may add bees in here but you know since it's this place is open to the public the possibility of bees escaping is much higher than usual but yes for now we're probably only gonna sell some honeycomb because that's really all i have a farm for and i'm probably only gonna have limited stock because i need some of that honeycomb for our base but this is probably gonna be a very good passive income because people are gonna want some honeycomb with that that's basically gonna be it for the video today and if you're interested in getting a minecraft server for a cheap price check the link in the description i am partnered with melon cube melon cube provides minecraft servers for as low as a dollar fifty a month if you use the link in the description and use code the m1g you will get 25 percent off your first month so yeah thank you guys for watching hope you have enjoyed see you next time